What's going on? This is Brett Snodgrass with the Simple Wholesaling team. And thank you guys for joining me for Mistake Monday. Uh, this is my fourth one for August. So check out the other ones. And uh, I would love to, to hear your comments. What do you guys think of these? So number one, the biggest mistake, if you look back, that I made was I didn't hire someone early in my business. Huge mistake. Number two, was that I hire people way too fast and fire them way too slow. You need to turn that around and you need to hire people slow and fire people fast. Number three was, um, it was, let's see, um, I stopped learning, right? That was number three that I, uh, there was about five years that I just stopped learning how to do things and I stopped reading and I wasn't doing any, any learning. And so number four, which brings me to today, is that uh, for the first several years that I did this business, I did a terrible, like, <laughs> you know, if you read that book, uh, it was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad job at branding myself. Very bad, right? <laughs> like, if you searched Brett Snodgrass for the first several years, seven, eight, nine, ten years of doing this business, I did a terrible job. I did never, never posted on social media. No one knew what I did. My friends, we'd go to parties and they'd say, "What do you do again, Brett?" And I'd be like, "I don't even. I don't know. Just you know, flip, flip houses. What? I don't know. That's it." And uh, people would be like astonished, like they wouldn't, didn't even know what I did. And I didn't even know how to explain it, right? Um, so I said like, oh, I wholesale houses. People are like, what does that mean? And, and it was just crazy. And I didn't uh, do podcasts. I, I didn't uh, you know, put myself out there, networking events. I didn't do any of that. And that was a huge mistake, huge mistake that it's hard to put a dollar amount on branding right? Uh, with, with sales and acquisitions and deals and dispositions, you can put a dollar amount on that, right? Oh, I sent out this many letters. I got a deal and that deal made me $10,000 and there it is, right? It's a, it's a good number, but branding, you can't put a number on it. So people don't spend money on branding is because it's hard to track the ROI, Oh, I spent ten thousand dollars on pushing out social media, and uh, you know, building this podcast. And I don't even know if anyone listens to it. And I put these videos together, and I spend money on that. And I spent like forty grand, and I don't know. I, you know, some guy called me up and wanted to sell me a deal, but I don't know where he maybe saw me on somewhere. Who knows? So it's hard to figure out the ROI on branding, and that's why people don't do it. I'm just saying that's a huge mistake. Uh, you have got to brand yourself, right? Who do you want people to view you as? You, who do you want people to think of you as? When they think about simple wholesaling, what do people think? When they think about breast and eyegrass, what do people think, right? Well, branding helps them put an image into their mind, right? Me doing this, podcast or me doing this video right now, uh, I'm putting a picture in your mind how to view me. And that's a branding thing. You're like, Brand, Brad, he's, he's pretty goofy and he talks fast sometimes. And I don't know, he always wears a hat and uh, whatever. I don't know what it is, but uh, maybe you think he's pretty cool, hopefully. But, uh, but I'm putting, helping put that image into your mind. I'm branding myself. So what does this look like for you guys? There is so much branding opportunity for you that's free. You don't have to spend a lot of money on it. Uh, you don't have to um, you know, spend that much time on it. And it's really just documenting what you're doing, right? If you're a real estate investor, it's documenting what you're already doing, right? So start putting things out there on social media. Tell people what you do, why you do it, you know, what... Uh, what this house that you just flipped start doing a video walkthrough with it go to the closing and take a picture with the with the uh, seller or the buyer and start doing all these things to brand yourself put it on facebook start an instagram account start a youtube channel you never know where it's going to go and people get freaked out like i don't know if anybody's going to watch it who cares right <laughs> it's like just start 
somewhere. It's going to be bad. It's not going to be any fun at first because you're like, oh, this is, you know, you got this little uh, camera with your phone and, and all this stuff and you just don't know exactly where to go. I'm going to tell you the things that we've done to brand ourselves as an expert, right? We've done, we have done social media. We have a, a page for a Facebook we have a meetup group that meets uh, virtually on Facebook, and we also have one that meets live. I started a podcast. I'm going to tell you guys, podcasts are not that expensive to create, but I'm going to tell you, it brings so much value because you're just talking and people start to get to know you and, and all these different things. It is branding, right? Um, YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel, and, and I'm going to say we're not even not the best at this, but we're better then, then maybe you are, right? So I'm just saying, just start somewhere, right? And incorporate that into your business, just like you do your sales. Say, hey, I'm gonna get on 30 minutes every day to Facebook, I'm gonna put something out there, I'm gonna take some pictures, and just start to think about how you wanna brand yourself, how you want people to view you. It is so important, it's one of the biggest mistakes that I didn't do the first 10 years, and it's never too late. I could have said, Oh, well, I didn't do it the first 10 years. Probably better not do it the next three. Well, you got to start somewhere, and, and now's the time. Hope you guys enjoyed this today. Check out all of our videos, and I'll be with you guys next week for Mistake Monday too. I'll see you guys soon.